The Wren's Progress by Grandad For Christopher Once upon a time there was a boy named Christopher Wren. One night Christopher went to sleep and fell into a dream. In his dream Christopher became a wren and learned to fly. It wasn't easy because he had always been a boy. Those wings were fun, but they took some getting used to. First he went to the Kalamazoo to see the vanilla gorilla. He's not home right now, said the manila chinchilla. Would you like to leave a message? Tell him I'll call again later, he said, confusing the onion jack with the straws and stripes. Next he went to Pennsylvania, where all the houses were made of pencils. There he chopped down a pencil from the forest and wrote a letter to his mother. His mother started to answer. The world is waiting for you, my dear. But she forgot how to say it in French, so she only wrote, Le monde. You read? said Blind Lemon. He was the big kahuna, the leader of the Limonati. Blind Lemon gave him a ring with a capital G on it. What's the G for? he asked. G-Rex, came the answer, which was Grandad's moniker, when he wasn't the big bopper. He lives in the deep dark cave. So the wren went to the deep dark cave to find G-Rex. Out came a creature that looked like it was made of bat guano. Who are you? the wren asked. I am Mudmux, it answered. Is G-Rex here? No, he went to work. Oh, said the wren. This is G-Rex, a.k.a. Grandad, in his natural habitat. It was dark in the deep, dark cave, so the wren flew away to the land of pure light. There he met the three ladies of light. Every day Subi went to the crossroads and fell down on her knees. Every day Dakota went to the train station to watch the engines come and go, speaking of Michelangelo. Every day Mockingbird went to the canal to hear the yoga boatmen singing, Yoga heave ho! This is Sue B, a.k.a. Grammy, eating carrot cake. Suddenly the shadow appeared. I am better than a pure light, it said. I don't think so, said the wren. But it's true, said the shadow. Then a dark cloud fell over the wren. The wren fell down among the terry fermies. What shall I do? he cried out. It's hotter than pumpkin pie down here. Won't somebody help me? I am here to help, came a voice from above. Who are you? asked the wren. I am Agnus Day, said the voice. I accept, said the wren. Then I will bless you, said Agnus Day. Go away, shadow. Come with me, Ren. So the Wren built a cathedral made of St. Paulia flowers. After that, many smaller shadows came, trying to darken the Wren's life. But each time the Wren returned to his cathedral of flowers and hid from them. At last it was time to wake up. The vanilla gorilla shook the wren's wings. G-Rex tickled his feet. 
Of a sudden, he turned back into Christopher and became a boy again. He was in his bed with his mother and father smiling at him. The End